Hello everyone, well, let's solve the problem 4 from the weekly contest 394. The problem is find edges in shortest path. The main prerequisite to solve this problem is knowing the distro algorithm. So, if you know about distro algorithm, you can continue watching the video solution. If you don't know, then go and type distro algorithm. You will get the blog from the geek for geeks. Try to read this. After reading this, if you know the basic understanding of distro algorithm, then you can continue watching the video solution. Now, let's understand the problem. You are given an undirected weighted graph of n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1. The graph consists of m edges represented by 2D array edges where edge of i is a, b and weight. So, we have a and we have b and it has some weight. Indi indicate there is an edge between a, b and there is weight. Consider all the shortest path from 0 to n minus 1. Distra algorithm is something which gives shortest path from 0 to all vertices from source to destination it will give shortest path to all the vertices. You need to find a boolean array answer where answer of i is true if the edge is part of at least one shortest path. He is saying that if my edge is in the uh, edge is part of one of the shortest path, you need to make it true or else you need to make it false. Now, let us see with example, we have this and you know what the shortest path is, this can be my shortest path or I can go like this. Uh, let us change the color for better understanding 1, 1, 2 and 1. This can be my shortest path or or I can go directly like this. So, these all edges has to be true, 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 true and this 1 to 4, 1 to 4 which is false, 4 to 5 which is false. So, if this is not in the path, you need to return false. So, first thing let us build the, let us build this. Now, if you apply destroy algorithm, this is my source and this is my destination. From source to destination, from source to destination, you will get the distances. So, this distance is 5, 5 and to reach 3, my minimum distance is 2, to reach 2, it is 1. So, everything we have stored. After storing this, uh, how you can get, how you will get? Now, you have these many paths. So, you can see the time complexity, it is like 10 power 4. So, for every path you cannot travel, right? If you are knowing this, if you are having one path, you cannot do for every path and you can iterate. Now, what I will do is, I will try to think, can I apply DFS? Can I apply DFS? Let us think. If you want to apply DFS, I need to go and I need to calculate the path and then I need to retrack it. I need to, if I want to apply and I need to come back and I need to validate in my edges. For every path, I need to do that. First, I will go, okay, this is my path, then I will go to edges and I will iterate and I will check. Then I will go to another path, same edges. So, if we do this, for calculating the path, it will be like n iterations and checking the edges, it will be n. So, n into n. So, mostly DFS won't work. Now, let us think, can we do something better? Okay, I will try to use BFS, I will try to use queues. Okay. Let me use queues and instead of coming from the beginning, I will try to come from the back. I will try to come from the back. Now, let us see what I will do is I will use queue and I will store pairs which is my index comma distance. In the queue, I will push phi comma phi. That means we are pushing the destination and we are saying that to reach the destination, the minimum distance required minimum cost is 5 and this is my dictionary uh, distance array which we will get from the distra algorithm distra algorithm you can say this is this graph we got from after applying the distra algorithm now this is my distra algorithm in this all values are stored now we got 5 from 5 you can reach 1 3 and 4 okay i can reach 4 1 and 3 to reach 4 after reaching 4 here i have weight as 5 and here my weight is 2 okay here my weight is 2. If you subtract, if you want to reach 4, 5 minus 2, right? You want to do 5 minus 2, which is 3. 5 minus 2, which is 3. But to reach 4, the minimum minimum uh, weight required is 7, but you got 3. So, I can say, okay, to reach 7, the minimum required is 7, but we are getting 3. So, I can say that is not in my shortest path. Okay, let us ignore that. Let us ignore this. Now, 5 to 1. 5 to 1. Now, we have 5 and this width, uh, this edge length, uh, edge weight is 1. So, 5 minus 1, which will be 4. Okay. Yeah. And at index 1, I have 4. Okay. To reach 1, 
my minimum cost is 4 so I can say yes this is my valid index because it to reach this I required 5 to reach this I required 4 that means this should be in the my shortest path only ok now let us consider 5 to 3 now 5 minus 3 which is 2 and to reach 3 minimum distance I need to travel is 2 yes definitely 3 can be in my path yes 3 can be in my path so what I will do is I will push q dot push 1 comma 4 and q, q dot push 3 comma 2 and we will continue this we will continue till the final iteration until the q is not empty and what we will do here what we will do here so we got 5 comma 4 we got failed so I will not do anything now 5 comma 1 is my valid so I will push that into my set 5 comma 1 I will push into my set 5 comma 3 I will push into my set and in the same way I will do this for 1 comma 4 and 3 comma 2 and all this values I will push into my set it will be like pair comma pair after pushing it I will iterate through the edges I will iterate through the through the edges and I will check if it is false and if if it is if it is not present in the set that means it is false if it is present in the set it is true now let us see the logic so I think you understood what exactly we are doing try to code by yourself if you unable to code then you can watch the high level of the coding part or else you can just skip the coding part and let us see you can go with the time complexity now it is simple this is my complete destroy algorithm destroy algorithm is first this we are storing u v w and we are using priority queue and we are getting the destroy algorithm and if my distance of n minus 1 equals to n to max that means that means all my like we cannot reach to the destination because sometimes it may fail because you say that note that the graph may not be connected if it is not connected source and destination is not connected then I can say I will not I cannot reach the destination so, so it will be like into max I will return the answer and here vector int visited n comma 0 to check whether we visited or not and we are using priority we are using only queue not the priority queue and we are using the we are pushing q n minus 1 and we are pushing the distance and we are using the set q dot friend q dot first we got this and we are popping it and visited node equals to 1. Now it is we are going to every adjacent vertices and distance remaining what we will do distance node minus w right. So distance remaining means we got this node so we will subtract this node so the remaining distance is 4 so you will get the 4 you will get the 4 and if my distance remaining equals to distance of my that vertex that means you can say st dot insert st dot insert node comma v or v comma node anything can be possible so it because it is an undirected graph and we will push that into q and finally we will iterate and we will check in the set so i think you have got it here the time complexity it can be like order of n into log n because we are using the priority queue here it will take log n extra space so i think you understood and if you learn something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye and i have created a whatsapp community go check it out